Carlos Reutemann, a career in Formula One that began in 1972 at the age of 30. The Argentine stars from Brabham, Bernie Eccleston's team alongside Graham Hill, a twice world champion. At the first GP, his home one in Argentina, he shows up immediately, pole position, while Hill is 16th. Only Mario Andretti and Jacques Villeneuve have ever taken a pole position in their first race. Unfortunately for him, the team made him start with the softest compound of tyres available. A tactic that in a hot Argentinian summer does not pay off and forces him to pit, an uncommon practice at the time. The continuation of his adventure in Brabham would be complicated. Lale, as he is known, would not be able to continue on the same line. The first year, he finished fourth in Canada as his only valid result. While in 1973, there are two podiums and a series of results that make him finish seventh overall. In 1974, Brabham returns to being competitive. Once again, the season starts in Argentina, and Lola is on the charge. Two-thirds of the way, he is comfortably in the lead by 30 seconds, ahead of Danny Hall. He's headed for the first career victory, but a mechanical problem forces him to slow down, until disaster strikes, a few laps from the end where he gives up all hope while he was still in the lead. A curse in the home GP that would plague him throughout his career, a race he will never be able to win. Reutemann is also leading the Brazilian GP and goes on to win the South African race, bringing Brabham back to victory after four years. However, his performances are too inconsistent. There would be four retirements and six consecutive races without points. He returns to being competitive towards the end of the season, with a podium in Germany and a nice victory in Austria. Still, Reutemann will end a positive season by winning from Paul at Watkins Glen and finishing the year in 6th place. Nobody has won more races this season than him. Lola remains at Brabham and 1975 is off as usual with the Argentinian GP. Reutemann is leading half of the race, but then he has to settle for third place. There will be four podiums in the next six races, and Reutemann will establish himself at the first chaser of Nick Lauda in the standings. After the Dutch GP, the Austrian leads with 38, Reutemann follows at 25. In France and Great Britain, however, Carlos does not score points, abandoning all title hopes. However, a victory in Germany at Nordschleife arrives, and Lola will finish the championship in third place. The talent is evident. But Brabham switched to Alfa Romeo engine in 1976, suffering from major mechanical problems. For Reutemann, there would be 7 retirements and 3 points in 12 races. But the chance of his life comes when Nicky Lauda is injured after the crash at the Nürburgring in 76. Enzo Ferrari sees Reutemann as the right driver and the Argentine is called in to replace Nick in Monza. But the Austrian's very fast and unexpected recovery makes so that Reutemann only runs in Italy and then stays out in the last three races. In 77, however, Enzo Ferrari decided to keep Reutemann alongside Lauda, thus replacing Clayberg at Sony. The year gets off to a strong start and, and Reutemann immediately finishes third in Argentina and wins in Brazil. After two races, he's leading the World Championship, and everything seems to lead him to be the number one of Ferrari. However, over the course of the year, Lauda will prove everyone that he's not a Finnish driver. For Lole, three podiums come in the following six races, and in the middle of the World Championship, he's only five points away from Schechter and four from Lauda. However, he will only get decent results from now on until a second place at Fuji at the end of the year. Lauda will be champion, Reutemann is only fourth. But with Villeneuve alongside in 78, Ferrari must put all their expectations on him. The usual process is repeated. Reutemann is on the front row in Argentina, but Ferrari have switched to Michelin tires and are yet to understand how they work. The strategy is wrong and Reutemann is only seventh. Then, as usual, Reutemann wins in Brazil with an over 40 seconds lead. However, in front of him is the Lotus 79, one of the best cars ever, driven by Ronnie Peterson and Mario Andretti. Reutemann also wins the fourth race at Long Beach 
and temporarily leads the championship, but from then on there is no story. Lotus will win six of the following eight races with four one twos. Reutemann wins a bronze hatch, but only thanks to double retirements of the two Lotus cars. Only at the end of the year, also due to Peterson's tragic death, Reutemann is protagonist again. Podium in Monza, victory in Watkins Glen, and podium in Canada. Reutemann finishes third overall with four victories and just 16 points behind Andretti. Given the dominance, Loli abandons Ferrari to move to Lotus, but fate is a tough client. Ferrari find themselves dominating the season, while Lotus have now been overtaken by other cars after the revolution of the previous year. Despite yet another second place in Argentina and a podium in Brazil, at the start of the season there are only podiums in Spain and Monaco. After seven races he will be in full fight for the World Championship, but from then on he won't score any more points. He moved to Williams in 1980 and the car was very competitive. Technical problems, however, put him out in three of the first four races and so the lead of the championship is once again flying away from him and Reutemann ends up being the number two driver. Emblematic in Argentina in the inaugural race, where after a mechanical problem he takes off his helmet and starts crying next to the car in front of the whole world. He will still take away the satisfaction of winning in Monaco and in the last 10 races he collects 8 podiums, always finishing in the points. He's third in the World Championship, but still 25 points behind teammate Alan Jones. He's starting to get more consistent, and despite being Williams number 2, he knows there is a big chance in his hands. In 81, the season gets off to a good start. After a second place in Long Beach behind Jones, during the second race in Brazil, the key moment of the season happens. Reutemann is leading ahead of Jones, but from the pits, the sign indicates Jones P1, Reutemann P2. Lole has no intention of letting him pass, and takes his third win in Brazil, disobeying team orders. Reutemann is then second in Argentina, third at Imola, and first at Zolder. After five races, he has 34 points, against Piquet's 22 and Jones 18. Despite being more consistent than his teammate and continuing to score more points, Reutemann will never be supported by the team anymore. Jones refuses to help him, not forgiving him for what happened in Brazil. After being up to 17 points clear mid-season, Piquet's comeback begins. In Germany, the next race, the team hands over Reutemann's car to Jones and forces him to run with a spare. Reutemann, who was starting third ahead of Jones, has a mechanical problem and has to retire. There are five races remaining, and Pika reaches him at the top of the standings in the next two. At Monza, there is another injury. Reutemann is denied by Jones for the second place, and, despite the Australian car being found underweight, the marshals agree to have it refueled, and Williams don't think about it twice. Thus taking away two points Reutemann would have got had Jones been disqualified. It all comes to the last race in Las Vegas, and Reutemann has only a point of advantage. Williams do not want to help him, despite Jones being well out of contention, and the final disappointment is consumed. Reutemann starts from pole, but the Williams driver begins to lose position straight away and is overtaken by Jones, also affected by gearbox problems. He's only 8th and loses the World Championship by one point to PK a championship that would have easily been won with the correct support of the team. Reutemann is disconsolate. Demotivated after a strong disappointment, he tries to redeem himself in 1982 and is immediately second in South Africa. But disputes arising from the Falklands War between United Kingdom and Argentina will lead him to leave the team after two races and say goodbye to Formula 1 forever. An Argentine in Great Britain was no longer highly regarded and so ended the brilliant, though sad, career of Carlos Reutemann. The lack of motivation after the defeat of the previous year was certainly the great cause of his choice. Twelve victories in Formula 1, like Mario Andretti and Alan Jones. Only Coulter and Moss have won more races without taking the title. His mild character and the choice of the car were his real problem. Enzo Ferrari will define him tormented and tormenting 
too compliant and prone to crisis while he was racing. A driver to whom perhaps only his character was able to deprive him of a world title.